Hello everyone, welcome to another video and today I'll be making a quick tutorial how to add mods to Doom 3. Uh, I've been requested by a recent subscriber if I can upload a tutorial or a video how to add mods to Doom 3, how to make Doom 3 become what I am running in my own personal walkthrough and not something... Um, what I mean by this is a game that is made by the mods that you choose and not, say, a game like Perfected Doom, which is a complete overhaul that encompasses several mods in it already. So, first thing first, there are two ways to install mods to Doom 3. One of these, let's run Doom 3 for one second, I want to show you something. Control alt slash brings down the uh, console. I'm going to press spawn and I'm going to type ally just to show you that there are no entities right now called ally within vanilla Doom 3. Neither are uh, entities with the human. Nothing. Now let's exit Doom 3. And we're going to add our mod for this uh, presentation, which is called the Allied Marine Squad mod, or the Allied Marine Squad Mates. You can, uh, by the way, if you don't know where that is, the, most of the mods are on ModDB. The mods I'm using are in my videos in the description. You can see the mod list or the mods that I'm running with. Uh, each one of the videos that I'm uh, uploading on my playthrough uh they have their own playlist or mod list in the description if i add anything then that mod is added to the mod list anyways so download it right here and you're getting this zip file like this it will look like this what you need from all of this is the installation instruction and files there is a pack 4 file over here let's create a folder in the Doom Free uh, main directory. No, sorry. Folder. We'll call it AMS. Let's enter AMS. I want this folder. Not only this. It will generate this pack four file will generate all other files that it's necessary to run. The Doom config, the auto config, the ally config, they are all files that this pack four file generates once it's uh once it is started. Let's go to Doom 3. Mods tab. And as you can see, a new folder has been added. AMS, double click on it. And you see can, that now it says Tin Man Squad. Tin Man is the original uh, guy who made bots to Doom 3 running uh, as far back as 2006 or 2007. Anyways, how do you know, even if you have this uh, thing in the main screen that says that the mod is loaded, how do you know that the mod is actually working? Let's bring down the console, spawn, and now spawn human and press tab and boom you have all of these bots to play with with pistols plasma guns machine guns chain guns bfgs soul cubes there's even a special variant that i used in my last episode which fires the soul cube out of his pistol he uses the soul cube like a pistol like a bullet fired from a pistol that is really neat. Anyways, so now you can see that you have plenty of bots or bot variations. There's also ally that you can use. They have their own weapons like a hand cannon, uh, the shield, which is very useful. And lastly, there is the char sentry. The sentry are the quadruped robots that follow you around. They're supposed to lead you but since this mod is activated, they are following you instead, which means that in some areas of this game, you will need to use no clip, especially in, uh, 
I believe somewhere in communications or in recycling, someplace, somewhere in that area, there's uh, just an entire section where this kind of sentry needs to open the doors for you, but because he is following you, he's not going to do that, so you're going to have to use no clip for that specific section of the game, but this is just one section that you're going to have to use it if you're using Team Man Squad. But this is only one way to add mods to the game. Again, what I want to show you now is the second way of how to add mods to the game, and that is how to add several mods to work together. What you're doing is basically just taking the same file, but placing it in your base directory. And now, whenever you start Doom Free, Doom Free reads all of the pack files from the base folder and he also reads the pack folder or the pack file for the bots. So you can see now the main quote unquote vanilla version of the game is running with Tin Man. This is how now you can actually add other mods like I'm using, for instance, the flashlights for weapons mod, the essential HD mod, the enhanced, whatever mod you want, you can now put it. All you need to do is simply place it in the main folder of Doom Free and run Doom Free and that's it. That's all there is to it and this is how you add mods to Doom Free. Tell me in the comments if you need any more tutorials like this or if you have any other questions regarding Doom Free specifically, I will be glad to answer. I'll be glad to help any way I can. Also, like and subscribe if you haven't. And I already recorded uh, Alpha Labs 3 and 4. I just need to sit down and edit it. So it might take me a bit uh, before the next episode of the Doom Free walkthrough uh, is published. But until then, Thank you for your time, I hope you found this video helpful, and hopefully I will see you in future videos.